Just a quick update on our steroid survey with Wake Forest. It's going very well, but we need more. Please, if you're 18 or older and you use anabolic steroids in the past five years, check this link here, take the survey. Please, this is gonna help men on earth as I'm working now with Wake Forest conducting steroid research. Thank you. Today's topic is top steroids for strength and size. This is a focus educationally for healthcare professionals. This is what men take to get big and strong. There's a lot of changes over the last 30, 40 years, but more things change, the more they stay the same. Here we go. Doctors and healthcare professionals, men are going to use testosterone esters and blends of testosterone. You could see the video I did on testosterone steroid versus medicine. Check that out. So, what is testosterone? This is not medical testosterone. These are going to be super physiologic uses of testosterone esters. Testosterone sipionate, testosterone enanthate, testosterone propionate, an old-fashioned blend called Sustanon 250. It's a classic. Been going on for more than 50 years. The doses are going to be the difference, healthcare professionals. Doses. It's not going to be little doses we use for TRT. It's going to be standard doses that are higher. 400 to 600 milligrams a week. That's the beginning steroid dose. Some guys even think that's more or less uh, TRT, which is interesting. It's not uncommon to see doses of base testosterone going up to one gram a week. It's just not uh, anything uncommon. It's, not, it's been that way for many, many years, decades actually. Some men I've even heard taking up to two to three grams a week, and then we're gonna talk about adding steroids to that. The side effects. This is a very estrogenic, inherent drug, so you're gonna see a lot of side effects. I always talk about the side effects, healthcare professionals and men in the world, from the head down, hair loss, puffiness, and that's estrogenicity. This is an hair drug that will aromatize, you'll see all about that, and that will happen. Puffiness, acne, gynecomastia, you could see all my videos on this. Cardiovascular disease, potentially. And as we move down into the pelvis, Prostate issues, not prostate cancer, we don't know yet, but BPH, doctors, healthcare professionals, enlarging the prostate over years with exposure to androgens, even testosterone bases. And of course, infertility, it's definitely going to affect a man's fertility, and there's a lot of data on this. Next, staying with intramuscular drugs first. Equipoise, you're gonna hear combinations. It's gonna roll off the tongue. Men are on testosterone doc, I'm on test and EQ. It's a classic combination. Doctors, healthcare professionals, you have to be aware of this. Equipoise, it's a veterinary steroid, actually for horses, boldenone undexalinate. It's known as EQ. Please see my video called Equipoise, the horse steroid, check that out. It's a testosterone-derived drug. This is the amazing chemistry from the 1960s. Watch my videos. It's mild to moderately strong as far as its ability to aromatize, but it depends on man, and it depends on what drug he's using with it. When you're using testosterone as a base-derived with equipoise, you can imagine there's gonna be aromatization, increase in water weight. This is a strength drug, my friends. This is a size drug, just like all the drugs I'm discussing today. Interesting for the animal research and the horses, it increased appetite. It's gonna do the same thing for men. Testosterone, equipoise. This is a classic combination to get big and strong. Old school, it's not gonna go away. It's cheap and it's available. Obviously, potentially very dangerous, as all my caveats, we talk about steroids and what they can do on an evidence-based approach to men using these drugs, please. 
Classically, for the medical side effects, we see polycythemia. Doctors, that's androgen-induced erythrocytosis. Please see a video. Deca, Durablin, and Equipoise cause thick blood, but is it dangerous? That's a video I did. Very popular video. Check that out. Next, testosterone and DECA. Doc, I'm on test and DECA. Classic combination, another big combination in the world to get big and strong. Nandrolone, Decanate. See that video. Please see DECA Durable in video. This is a NOR19 drug, doctors. Healthcare professionals, three drugs derived in the world, three types of parent drugs of steroid compounds. There is testosterone, NOR19, and DHT derivatives. Please see my videos. Please learn about the drugs that your patients, the men and the women, that are going to be coming to see you from this time forward, from here to eternity, that are using these drugs. Please don't shun them. Please don't disparage them. Please don't turn them away. Understand what they're doing and work with them. We work with athletes. We work with people using drugs. This is now a regular person using this drug. It's the non-athlete. We take care, of course, ethically, obese people, people using heroin and, and other illicit drugs. We don't turn them away. Do not turn these people away. Understand, I understand, doctors and healthcare providers, that you don't understand these drugs scientifically and clinically. This is why I'm here and this is why I'm going forward with education for healthcare professionals. Decadurabolin, it's a NOR19 drug. It's not known to be very estrogenic, but some people will certainly get very puffy and very, very heavy with it looks like water weight. Remember, it's used in combination with testosterone. Why? Because of Decadec. This is an amazing, amazing property of this drug. Decadurabolin causes Decadec. See the video. Decadec, we don't understand fully. This drug is a NOR19 drug. When it's taken on a standalone basis, it actually shuts down your own inherent production of testosterone to such a great degree, but it doesn't mimic testosterone. Testosterone and other drugs do it too, but testosterone itself it mimics and stimulates the CNS at the same time. So you supplant your own endogenous for exogenous and you feel fine. Hypersexual actually, not this drug. That's why this drug is used classically, test and DECA. Doctors and healthcare professionals, this has been going on for decades. You need to understand this. It's a very, very strong drug. It's a bulking drug. It causes puffiness, as I said. Maybe it's because of the progestonic activity. We just don't know. The doses, you'll see about 300 to 600 a week. This is another classic, classic drug that causes polycythemia. Again, please see the video. DECA and Equipoise cause thick blood, but is it dangerous? Decadurabolin, Equipoise, two classic add-ons to testosterone. What else is injected with testosterone to make you big and strong. Tren, Tren Bolin, please see the video. My video, Tren Bolin, monster steroid, because this is another veterinarian steroid. This is the absolute monster of all steroids. Everyone knows it. It can be used alone. It can be used classically with steroids like testosterone. You will get big and strong. It is unbelievable. Of course, the side effects are outstanding on this drug and everyone knows it. This is another NOR19 derived drug. It's not estrogenic, amazingly not estrogenic because of the way it's derived and therefore you see this hard, incredibly grainy look when bodybuilders use it and that's why they use it. When you see these big mass monsters, Tren is always on board. Every single time, there's no exceptions. How amazing is that, healthcare professionals? You have to understand this drug. And there's Trendic, but Trendic actually is a strong dick. This is amazing. It's another similar drug to Decadurabolin, but so chemically different that it's a NOR19 derived drug, yet it's got different properties. It's absolutely incredible. It causes super hypersexual activity for most men 
so hypersexual that they will wreck their life, they will cheat on partners. I've heard men that are pastors to tell me stories where they ended up in other cities and other states having multiple sex partners. And this is a pastor, a regular man who just was a humble man who was a married happy man. Please understand this. Most men on trend are going to be hypersexual. What's the danger beyond the medical dangers of this drug? It's incredible. I call it chasing trend. Men come off trend and they can't regain that sexual libido. Please be aware of this. Patients, please, doctors, don't turn them away. This is very dangerous for them. This I've seen permanent, although it's rare, impotence with men. And you better believe this drug causes massive anabolic steroid-induced hypogonadal state. Massive, it shuts down the hypothalamus pituitary axis massively. It doesn't even take too long. But again, young men are like freight trains. They can take these drugs repeatedly, repeat, cross this line, cross this line, cross this line, keep doing cycles, keep doing trend. It felt great. Every time, doc, I came back, I felt great. And then there's that one time or that one period where they don't feel good. Now they can't come off. They need to stay on at least testosterone for life. Please, doctors and patients, if you don't understand this, don't enter this world. This is so serious when we talk about trend or any steroid. I have men that come to me suffering such lack of libido from trend that they say to me, doctor, I have to live on trend. They have to live on testosterone and some trend just to maintain a libido. This is unsustainable. That's gonna, can you imagine this? That's gonna end up severely with medical issues itself, not to mention the, the down regulation in the central nervous system that we have no idea about. They don't live on it forever, they can't. So they suffer. Most men can recover from trend aspects and side effects, but you have to work with them, doctors, and you have to understand what they've done to themselves. Now, testosterone and oral agents.